to another episode of Pud's Garage, and this episode will be cracking the block, getting the pistons out, and checking out the inside of the engine, and also starting to clean it up. We have the socket that we need. Let's do it. Alright, let's get these pistons out. Freezing here. And windy. So I got the garage door down. Ow. Right, these crack really easy. I'm gonna need to put that much effort. Ah squish my finger up. Get them out. That's one. It's two. <clears throat> Comment below guys what you think good combo of piston and rods are for a safe 400 horsepower. So I'm thinking of just building this bottom end and then later on down the track <coughs> we'll do heads to the valve train or even heads, different heads. Now I have ported the heads a few years ago when I had the when I did the head gasket. Right, let's get another, another baggie. So the um Pistons I've been looking at um, have a circlip. I'm going to have to get some pliers like that, but straight so we can get in there and put them on. <coughs> yeah. I believe these stock ones are just. Oh, look at that. It looks like a little love heart. This little clip so easy to get out. So I need to crank it over and we'll pop there. Oops. I'm trying to keep this clean but there's so much so many tools. And so these actually line up with each other, so you can punch out the wrist pins from the opposite side. But we'll just take these clips off. There's one. Alright guys, so here is the pin coming out. <coughs> So it turns out this is <laughs> really handy. <laughs> so I could have done it the other day. This is what my dad gave me, but I wasn't 100% sure on how to do it, but it's worked a lot better. Well, so now what we have to do, <coughs> it doesn't have the pin in it, you crank it. Pushes the piston up, and then the rod comes down and leaves the piston up. And then what we have to do is twist the piston. 
keep cranking it, the rod will come up because it won't go into it. So I'll show you guys. So we've got, got it coming up. And that's twisted. It's going to hit it and push it out of the block instead of going back into it. It's going to push it out. Let's do it. That's easy. Okay. And go again. <coughs> Okay guys, I'm actually quite happy with this at the moment for the cross hatching. Obviously not impressed with the stain but we can fix that. Alright, let's get the other three out. I'm not going to film it, you guys know what I'm going to be doing. Alright, all the pistons are out. Um, <coughs> It's a lot quicker when you know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, so I just need to take all the, the casing bolts out. Now I might reuse these, these external ones. I believe you can just buy them individually for the water gallery ones. <clears throat> Probably stick with stock ones as well. Just for the block. And I'll go upgraded <coughs> ones for the heads. Well, what do you guys think? There's most of the forces out here, not so much in the middle. Comment below what you think I should do with the bolts. <coughs> Those standard ones are perfectly fine for the block. But, let's speed it up and we'll crack this block. pants out. Probably um check these. It's probably gonna be crap in between it now. Don't want that. Let's uh, check the right one. Uh... 
does anything look different? the GT one is uh, full of metal but physically everything looks the same Yep. Same. Front one. We have two holes. Front one we have two holes. Same, same. It's so looking good. Right, let's get to the back one. So this looks like it's been been spun or damaged. Yeah. yeah, it's been damaged. Yeah. It's uh it was hit by that back back piston. Can actually get that out, but physically from the top everything looks the same. I think we might be in luck, boys and girls. So external everything. Let's go to the this side. Make sure everything here is the same. Same, 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 same. Uh, full metallic, with burnt oil. This is going to get a nice clean up. So right hand side, good. Okay, guys, this is the left hand side. If you're looking into the engine bay, I think I may have put them around the wrong way, but. We are just checking the differences between left and right. So, we'll go through. It looks like it's been damaged. But physically, the holes are all the same. Which is good. We've got the little oil gallery piece that comes through the rear main seal it's exactly the same all the same all the same same Oop. same Same for the holes. Same. Turn it around. Obviously, that inspection hole is the same. Turn it around to the front. And everything. 
everything is the same. Turn it around to the bottom. Here's the difference. Oh dear. <sighs> okay, there's a bit of difference here. <laughs> I can just swap it over. Show ya. Just this water. Water pipe comes out. So this goes to the cooler normally. But I by bypassed it. Okay guys. I'm going to start cleaning up the block. Yep. We get all the jewels out and clean it up. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and Facebook for up-to-date updates. Um, so I'm always taking photos while I'm doing the episode, so you'll be a day or two ahead of YouTube. So check it out. I'm Puds.Garage on Instagram and Puds Garage on Facebook. Bye.